in the description it's gonna be this link click the link and then you'll, you'll be here all right so scroll down and then you'll see this so now choose between Windows 10 or 11 so I'm gonna do 10 in my case I'm gonna use light edition this one you have to pay for so I'm not gonna use that one so I'm gonna use this one okay so click this download button and it will take you to here scroll down a little bit and then you'll see this click on this one and then click this download button here on the right side all right so then download that that should take a minute so while that's downloading go to the desktop then press Windows key or search and then type disk management okay or that if you're on Windows 11 all right so open that up okay so when that's done any drive that you have as long as you have a little bit of storage on it we want to right click on it so the biggest part so which would be this part all right so click on that and then do shrink volume now because our ISO is about two gigabytes we'll just do three gigabytes just to be safe so 3000 megabytes so type 3000 in there and when you've done that right click new simple volume next 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 just keep clicking next all right so now when that's uh, when you've done that go to file explorer or you know type it in here double click on the iso file that we downloaded so double click open it up give it a second all right click open right here when you've opened up the uh, iso file or you know this file so now you want to left click drag the mouse over all of this right click copy go to this pc and then go to the new thing that we made so this one all right so now paste that in here so give it a minute it might take a minute all right so now in the description will be this app that you need the easy bcd app so go download that in the description which i don't have that right now so we're gonna go to my own video this is not oh okay uh Okay, the video you're watching now, go to the description of that. I put this new link in here, but it's the same app anyway, okay? So, click on this link. Hopefully it works this time. <clears throat> oh my god, my throat. <clears throat> okay, I'm a little bit sick right now. Alright, can this, this thing download right now? <laughs> cool, so that's finally done. I don't know why it takes so long. Okay, double click, open it up. Press yes when this comes up. I don't know, you can, can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So hit next. Agree next install finish okay all right so this should come up if it doesn't come up just you know move this out of the way or if it doesn't come up just double click open it up anyway uh right just press go on that press okay on this some people press cancel do not press cancel press okay on this ignore this don't need to worry about that just press okay here's where stuff gets a little bit complicated just follow along you're gonna go nice and slow okay so add new entry win pe click right down here and click this little button right here that should open up and then go to this pc new volume that you made it should be the one that's three gigabytes open it up go into if i remember correctly it's here yeah okay open up this folder sources boot.wim double click that or click open same thing okay now once you've done that press the plus just like that now we're just going to put this as the default and put it at the top just so that we're going to restart the pc in a second and when we restart it will automatically boot into the setup so you don't have to press any extra buttons and don't mess around with the bios and do all that stuff but before we do that <coughs> oh my god before we do that just one thing i want to quickly mention you will probably have uh your wi-fi drivers or ethernet drivers but just in case uh, I would definitely go download them. We're gonna go to device manager real quick. Okay, so network adapters. Okay, so mine's Intel. Intel, all right, so Intel network drivers. Go to the website. Okay, let's say we have Ethernet. Go to this, scroll down. Okay, this, go to this one. If you have Intel, download, so just click it. Uh, any of these is fine, and pretty much the same thing. I don't really know what's the difference, but. So hit download on that. So go to explore you know go to downloads okay then left click right click extract extract again all right when that's done open up setup but we don't need to open that right now when you got your folder full of the drivers drag it go down can i go down okay never mind open a new tab or if you're not on windows 11 right click this open a new window 
move that over there so go to the new volume open it up then drag that into there so if you have Realtek do the same thing with the Realtek driver you're stuck with like no connection I have a video which will be on the screen which will show you how to fix that which is basically the same thing just downloading the driver from your phone so hopefully you understand and that's all done make sure you save that I forgot to mention that I think make sure you save that once you save that close this close this now restart just like that and then hopefully when we restarted and should automatically boot into the setup okay it doesn't but that's fine you'll get a screen that looks something like this uh, if it says win PE or something like that, just click that one. So once you've done that, wait for this to load up. All right, cool. So this is not Windows, we're in the installation. Okay, so choose your language and then probably keep this on US because if you change it, it will bug out or it might bug out. So just to be safe, I'm gonna just leave it as it is. Uh, I don't have a product key right now. I'll do that later on. Choose the drive that you want, so this drive. There's only one, so yeah. All right, this should install really quick. Hopefully, yeah, it's going up very quick. All right, so that's done. Restart, and there we go. Yep, that's pretty much it. It just boots up instantly. All right, so that's that. That's the uh, OS installed. Now the processes are going to be quite high because it's a VM. VMs have high processes. I don't know why exactly. They just they're just like that. On real hardware, you should see maybe around. 60 ish something like that i don't know because i haven't tried it on real hardware yet but i'm probably going to install this on my pc after i'm done with this video uh but yeah so from what i know right now you should probably get around 60. in terms of ram usage you'll get around a gigabyte uh when you install graphics drivers i'll probably go up by an extra 300 so whatever you have plus 300 which will be 1.4 so you get about 1.4 gigabytes real quick though i'm gonna restart because that tends to lower it lower the processes in the ram when i restart for the first time all right let's open up task manager again okay didn't really do much and it helped a little bit i got it down by like 50 megabytes let's look through all the stuff that's on here so yeah you know it's a very deep loaded version of windows it's got barely anything on it winver version this is 22h2 all right uh let's see settings menu settings still works you can go for everything all of this stuff everything works so that's good <clears throat> there shouldn't be yeah there's no updates so you can't update it but obviously you don't want to do that anyway i'm forgetting something oh yeah the uh antivirus is gone as well i think yep just doesn't open let me just check yeah there's no antivirus process the whole process is gone which is great for performance i might do another video like comparing the performance between the stock windows and this custom os maybe if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments and if you guys need help with anything also let me know so like subscribe if this helped you and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video